people out on the water, and there's some people who made it in from the water to, to join us tonight, and to make sure they keep the dinner. And that, <clears throat> and, and join us here this evening for the community dinner. Now, I understand it's a real nice night out, and I noticed that we went from a few kids to very few kids. Uh, I think they kind of stepped out into the sunshine. But tonight, I'd like to start us off with our first uh, on <clears throat> Henri person, oh, excuse me, I didn't mean that, not Henri, excuse me. <laughs> Honorary <laughs> recipient, and I want you to know that was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Our first honorary is, I don't know if you guys are okay with the way I'm doing this, right? Okay, his first honoree is someone that I've known for, how old is he? Since he was born, I know that. And I remember all the all slavery he gave my mother. But Schwab Jean, my brother Jeff Edwards, Jeffrey Michael Edwards, if you would come on up and join me, brother. This is my younger brother. <laughs> and he says that he loves me and I know why. <laughs> I, was, I was probably nine years old when he was born. Toward the cabins down that we used to live in. 
the, the, the cow barn is still there. The smiley cow, cow pasture, pasture and house and everything. It's still there. But here I am reminiscing because I've driven down Allen Allen Road a few times lately. But then we lived out on the clean road. And there's, I don't know what it was about. I don't know if other people did this, but you live in, you live in the same house that your cousins used to live in. Because we moved out there in the plain road, and my, I, I remember my aunt Jerry and Uncle Henry used to live out there too. So, you know, here we are, then my mom decides to move in there, and we used to have to walk to Evergreen store. Oh, here's the interesting story about Alan Allen. This kid, I'm oh, oh, sorry, brother. <laughs> what are you, you're an elder now? Um, he, uh, <clears throat> we used to have to babysit you, so we would, we would get on our bikes and go for a ride from Alan Allen Road out to Fort's, uh, that road that goes out to Chuckanut. We used to ride out there and ride, go down that real, that steep hill that goes down and shh, and I think Sudmass Camp was out there. One of the camps were out there. But we used to put him in the basket. You know those baskets they used to have in front of the bikes? We put him in there and we'd have to wheel him around. I think I was the main driver. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm remembering everything about all that now. <laughs> oh well. But, <coughs> Watching. Father Melvin Charles and Eileen Charles. Uh, I am the older sister. And if you don't know me, my name's Barb James. Uh, and then my I have a, we have a sister Janet. Charles, over Charles. And then we, our, our brother, our late brother, brother um, Chadaska, Brother Ken. Well, you know, throughout the years, we went to Mount Vernon schools. Um, and then I don't know what it is about going off to boarding school. I went down up to Fort Sill for a couple of years. And Janet, two weeks after I got down there though, Janet followed and she got married in four years. And then Brother Ken, he joined us at Fort Sill. Uh, or not me, I mean I graduated. So he followed after Janet and I were out of school. He went down to Fort Sill. And then I guess Jeff thought that was a good idea because then he went to Fort Sill in his school, Mount Oklahoma. He graduated there. So I just thought maybe they thought, gee, well, Bard liked it, so I guess I'll go to Fort Sill. But anyway, he did a great job down there. Made, made some friends, a lot of friends all over the United States. Um, he... Oh, he, he was in student body. You were on the student body at Fort Sill. He was the vice president and the president at Fort Sill. Wonderful, because I was on honor society. <laughs> That's great if I do the president. Um, his wife is Robin Edwards. And they have four children, 11 grandchildren. Oh my gosh, you passed me up. 
uh, three great grandchildren. He likes. To, he's a. He's been doing work as an archaeologist trainee, archaeologist trainee, trainee, a crabber, and a fisherman. And he loves to do bee work, having fun with the grandchildren, great grandchildren. And I think I added a whole lot of other stuff, but I will tell you one more thing. He can do a slot machine. And that's how he, I think that's how we text too. Like all of us older people, you know, we text like this with the one finger. We don't type like we used to. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. 